everybody, it's Leah Dunn with Leah Dunn Real Estate Group, and I'm here with Roxanne McEnroe, and we are in Dublin, Texas today. Mm -hmm. If you don't know where Dublin is, it's about 10, 15 miles southwest of mm -hmm. Stephenville. So if you've never been down here, never heard of Dublin, it's where Dr. Pepper came from, just to give you an idea as to where we are. Uh, Miss McEnroe, can I call you Miss McEnroe? Call me Roxanne. Call you Roxanne. Roxanne, tell us a little bit about where we are. Why are we here? Okay. So in 2011, I had traveled to Stephenville to work with a girl that's in my organization, and I ended up lost. And I, had, I became lost and hit this road here to come into Stephenville, which actually led me into Dublin. And when I rounded the corner and I saw the top of the house, I mean, my heart just stopped because this house, Leah, I had drawn on paper since I was a little girl. It's like a dream home for me. I hadn't visualized this. And in 2008, that was in 2011, 2008 and 2010, I lost my parents and then our family home that we'd grown up in burned down. And so I thought, eh, it might be time for a change. So I was open to something new. And as I said, just found this. Later I found out it's in Erath County. Erath County is where my grandparents, my great-grandparents settled, actually. And uh, so Erath has very significant meaning. But anyway, I drove up and I took a picture. And then I, call, I left my business card on the man, his truck that lived here. They weren't here. And about seven days later, he called me back and said, you know, what were you wanting to know? And I said, I, I want to buy your house. And uh, that was in April of 2011. And by July 11th, 2011, which was my dad's birthday, I was in the house. Wow. So I would never have left the Lubbock area while they were alive. But once they were gone, I was looking for something new. This, this came up. So, and so this house was built in what year? 1898. Okay. By? His name was John Harris, and uh, it was John Harris. Her nickname was Annie. I'm trying to remember her real name, but I can't. But anyway, it was John and Annie Harris. Mm -hmm. And from what I understand, they lived up north. I think it was, uh, uh, gosh, it was one of the beats, Vermont or something like that. I think it was Vermont. Anyway, they lived up north. But I believe initially he was coming here for the railroad. Okay. And when he got here, maybe he did that a little bit, but he ended up founding the Dublin National Bank also in 1898. And uh, you'll see in a little bit, if we go in the kitchen, that the ceiling is actually the ceiling that was in the bank building that he worked under. It was his ceiling. So when they restored the house in like 2007, they brought the ceiling over. But uh, yeah, it's got a marker here, but there is, it's not a historical marker. It just has a date on it. It's not a historical marker. And we've all chosen not to do that because then there's a lot of restrictions and so forth. So, But it is the treasure of Texas, seriously. When uh, I had some restoration work after a storm, the man that does a lot of Texas restorations on courthouses, he said, I just have to tell you, in all the things that I've been in in Texas, you have the treasure of Texas. The Treasure of Texas. Yes. Let's go inside. I will sit and pray. what I understand is extinct today. You can't build with it today. So it's like Louisiana maple and longleaf pine. Or I might have it exactly that way. But anyway, it's those two woods and you can't build with them today. And so, you know, that makes this really even more special because you can't get it. Uh, the fireplaces, there's seven fireplaces in the home. And each has a different motif. We believe that they were all brought in from Bulgaria, 
uh, you know, uh, and brought to this home specifically. But if you'll notice, they're just beautiful. Uh, all of this is original. The floors, everything in here. And you'll notice that as we go along, there's like, uh, we have also these doors that just pull out and still run smooth. He said he didn't have to do anything to the doors when he restored it in 2007 cafes was the restorer of this Talk home. to us about this artwork on the ceiling and on the walls. Okay, all around the edges here, this is original. And But when the there was a fire in the house, when they were restoring it, somebody left a hot glue gun or hot gun up there or something. And so this ceiling, when the fireman put, the, put it out, this ceiling was damaged. So this ceiling is not original, but the sides are original. This is called cake decorating. What they did is they stenciled on the design and then they took literally like a cake decorated tube and plaster and this is how they created these designs. So when I was having some things done, I had this little bit. This was supposed to be like the most fantastic ceiling in the entire world. And so I just had this little bit put back on just to give it a little. And he also made this plaster uh, medallion up here above. above So again, cake decorating on the ceiling, stenciling on the ceiling, and if you notice, like the paint fades. I don't know how even they did that, but the paint kind of fades out, and that was the technique you'll see also again in the men's parlor here in just a minute. Again, we have the uh, stained glass that's original to the house. What's interesting also, the cart, the rug I brought in from the uh, attic was just up in the attic, and so I brought it down. I had a man that cleaned it. But it's original to the house, and there's two more just like it upstairs in the attic still. And again, the motif on the fireplace, one or more of the fireplaces. There is a story out there that under one of the fireplaces, or through one of the fireplaces or something, there is a secret passageway. So every house has to have a little bit of mystery, and she certainly has a lot of mystery. And, you know, when you come into the home, it's just warm, it's embracing, uh, I call it a healing place. It's people come in and you can see the stress on them from the city and then they've been here for a little bit and it just, you see it melt off by the next morning. Uh, the, the table and chairs in here and this little hutch, this is all original to the house. So when whoever the next lucky owner of this home is will be also inheriting the hutch and the chairs and the table. This is all original to the home. And the rug. And the rug. And the rug. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's just lovely. Let's move back over to the men's parlor. Okay. imagine these men sitting here drinking their brandy, smoking the cigars, you know, probably with the doors closed because the women were over there doing mm -hmm. that thing. But you can just imagine, you know, when I'm in these rooms, 
most especially in the dining room, I think about all the things that families have planned in the home. Mm -hmm. They, you know, maybe mourned in the home. They, they've had celebrations in the home. Babies were born. Babies were born. You know, I mean, just all the different life that's happened here, and especially back in the first days, you know, mm -hmm. just how they lived. And even though um, electricity was not here yet, when he built this home, he wired it for electricity. So he, it was in uh, businesses already, and from what I understand, it was wired from the very beginning before it was built. Um, and so everything was already in play when it happened. But for three years, they lived in this home without electricity. And that blows my mind, because we had an outage in town one time, and I'm telling you, this place was dark. When all the city, everything, all the lights, you know, so it would have been really amazing mm -hmm. to have lived in that day. But in here, this is probably my most favorite ceiling. I love this ceiling because it kind of has a tie-dye effect with the fading, you know, the colors. Mm -hmm. and um, Again, original to the house. Um, there were a couple of little medallion pieces that had fallen over the years and never been replaced. So I found a man that replaced them for me, and you can't tell the difference, but there was like maybe four. And, uh, but again, cracks that are healthy for the house, not a problem. Motif of the fireplace, once again, is a little different. Just beautiful, lovely. And back in the day, they would have had to have had, you know, a heating system. All the floors, too, as we walk through the house, if you notice, the floors are just fantastic and they're original to the house. And when we get in the part where the uh, service people, servants, whatever you want to call them, had uh, taken care of the families in the early days, the wood is different mm -hmm. in the service areas. But this is just absolutely fabulous and easy to care for. Uh, you know, just a great, just a great, comfortable home. You first look at it from the outside and you think, ooh, that's really large and, you know, but you come in and you've already probably felt it. It's just really warm and doesn't feel like a big home. So the house, as it sits currently, mm -hmm. what what is um, heated and cooled is about 4,500 square feet. And then you have an additional about 1,200 square foot attic that's mm -hmm. not finished out. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like this, this could be someone's home. It could be a large family's home. Or it could possibly be uh, a bed and breakfast or a venue for events, whether it's a wedding or a girls weekend. I really, I, I, I mean, it's on 18 acres. I don't even think we've talked about that. Mm -hmm. I really see this property as it could be a place where someone lives and works, has a bed and breakfast, or like mm -hmm. I was saying, a venue, or it could just be a great place for somebody to live, obviously. Mm -hmm. You've lived by yourself here for seven mm -hmm. or eight years, mm -hmm. and it's grand and large and fabulous and mm -hmm. welcoming and homey, but it could also be a commerce idea. So, well, I just want to thank you so much for letting us come over and look at the house today. Mm -hmm. I, I This is my, is this only my second time here? Mm -hmm. I feel like I've been here a hundred times. I feel mm -hmm. totally at home, totally at home. Back door, back door guests are best. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Thanks, thanks so much. Good to see you. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Thank you. Uh, you. You know my number. You know my email address. If you want to come and have a tour, give us a shout and we'll get you in there. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.